Talk about a joint that bump. Good Lord. Sometimes you just got to listen to that joint and let it ride for a little bit. Yes, yes, yes. What is good, my people? Welcome back to Computer Music Academy's weekly homework podcast. I'm your host, Tashir Rasay. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening. Welcome to week 187 of the weekly homework assignment slash podcast. Shout out to my man, Dixie Freely, for that intro. I think we got one more week. Yep, we do. And then we're moving on to something else. Shout out to the packed house right now. People got in here early tonight, dude. Oh, boy. I wonder what that's all about. <laughs> Let's do it. Who we got in here? My man QB, Quentin Baird, is in the house with us tonight. What's up, bro? Uh, Northeast Beast, Ja Rose. Mr. Fields, Papa Fields, <laughs> Gelati Beats, AS uh, Agent Smith 78, Gamma Pods. Who else we got? Necromantis is in the house. TikTok Productions, Jelani Beats, Darren is Ray. We got my man Student in the house representing. Who else we got? Young Dixie Freely. Man, we got a cast of characters tonight. My wife Samaya's in the house. Sheldon Johnston Sr. is in the house. That's a new name. Welcome, welcome. Who else we got? Dunsworth. Gemini 4D. I think we got everybody for now. Nope, we got no one you know. What's up, dude? Black Math. All right. I think I got everybody now. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh-oh. Obsidian Blue just walked in. Kane is in the house. Welcome, welcome, y'all. Mr. Wallace, he's in the house. What it be? What it be? Y'all ready to get this in? For my man AS. What are we doing? There we go. <laughs> what up the Dap Dunlap just walked in. So, episode 187. Murder, death, kill. <laughs> Jim and I reminded me of that. <laughs> so occasionally well i will say this i will say this let me start off by saying this on average we do about 40 assignments per year we run like in march from mid to late march to the end of december every year and we get in on average about 40 assignments and i am the one that normally comes up with them occasionally Someone would suggest something, I may tweak it a little bit, and then give it to the people. But for the most part, I'm the one that comes up with it, and I have absolutely no issues with doing that. Uh, with that being said, it's always cool. Since we've been running this show for five years now, we're coming to the end of the fifth year. And thank, you, thank all of you if you supported from day one, year three, however the situation may be. Greatly appreciate you supporting the show. Uh, Anyhow, it's always cool to get an opportunity since people kind of know what I do, how I do, and what I expect. It's cool to kind of sit back and let them have the control. So, ladies and gentlemen, one of my favorite assignments that we've done for the last three years, if I'm not mistaken. I believe this is the third year we've done this. This is called I Challenge You. What that is all about, we had a number of people commit in advance. They came to me while well, I put the word out. They came to me, said, I'm down. Cool. Once you're in, you're in. You cannot back out. You cannot suddenly have all kinds of crazy issues, blah, blah, blah. Once you're in, you're in. And what we ended up doing is actually taking those people, put all of the people together, in a random team generator and we ended up generating a number of teams to where basically each team has two people and this is how it goes this person challenges this person and this person challenges this person it's that simple you're in a team with somebody you give them an assignment you receive an assignment you get it done turn it in within seven days this is going to be epic because we have 16 submissions tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very eager to get to them all. Let's get it started with my mans. 
who's been holding us down on the intros, or at least on kicking off the show for a little bit. Ladies and gentlemen, representing Zurich X Z Beats. I see, I see, I see. First of all, freaking XZ, man. This dude. Dude. 230, bro. Come on, man. <laughs> you killing me in four minutes here. That's not the standard. I got to call you out. However, uh, he says, I got this challenge from students, sci-fi movies like Blade Runner and animations like Ghost in the Shell and cyberpunk movies are one of the coolest things and very popular right now. When we talk about the future world, everybody has their own imagination, how things might look like in the future. Your assignment is create a song that you can imagine being played in your future slash cyberpunk world. Let's go. That was quoting from us uh, from student. Uh, so here's my take. I wonder how the nightclub scene and the techno music night like uh, in the techno music might sound like in the future. Here we go. Hope you all enjoy XZ.
Mmm. Aside from the timing, flawless. Flawless. Absolutely flawless. Definitely sounds like some future cyberpunk kind of stuff. Matter of fact, there's a game getting ready to come out. I think it's in two years from the people that made The Witcher. I think it's called Cyberpunk. I can't remember the year, but it's based off of uh, some novels. And I can hear this in the damn game. We got time. <laughs> I can get in contact with CD Projekt Red. Like, here you go, bro. <laughs> but no, this was dope. This was dope. This was very reminiscent of, I mean, as, as those movies that he listed and a few other ones. I mean, uh, it kind of reminds me, well, maybe, maybe not. I was about to say the opening scene in the first Blade, shout out to Wesley Snipes, that sound like that could be in there or... It's a number of things this this could play in. The Matrix, obviously, any of those movies. Uh matter of fact, for for the real fans, Equilibrium. If you've never seen Equilibrium with Christian Bale and is it Tay Diggs? Holy crap. Go see that. Go rent that. Pull it off of Netflix. However, that's a great movie. If you like if you like uh The Matrix, you'll love that. I could definitely see this playing in equilibrium there it is done deal but no i loved how this played out i really really did everything the mix on it was really dope the concept and and the vibe that came out of it really dope really loved how it transitioned between different parts very very techno you know cyberpunk-esque worked out my man xz thank you for that dude and keep the damn uh uh uh, assignments to a, to the you know the allotted time, bro. <laughs> Thank you for that, man. Let's keep it moving. Let's go holler at the guy that actually challenged that guy, ladies and gentlemen. He's hanging out with us in the chat tonight. Let's talk to my man, student. <laughs> was nasty as soon as the beat hit because you had the little intro that was cool i'm glad he kept it short uh hopefully we don't get a copyright strike for that but the the intro was dope this kind of set you up as soon as the drums in the main part hit bow and everybody the chat just lit up <laughs> 
Yikes. He says, XZ told me that since I'm, an, uh, since I'm also a member outside of the, of the U.S., my challenge is to sample and play Chinese music and make a beat uh, slash song with it. So I chopped up a sample from a Chinese singer, famous Chinese singer. Hope y'all enjoy. Hashtag we are CMA. Good Lord. Doug, the chops, the drum programming, the mix sonically. I mean, everything about this joint was on point. There is not a single flaw with this joint. Holy crap. Student, that was brilliant, dude. I mean, dude, the chops, the, your actual, and, and, and the drum selection or sound selection is very important, even when you're doing sampling, even when it's just you're sampling and chopping and replaying stuff, you got to have the right type of drums. You got to have the right bass up under that sample. And if you're going to play any other organic instruments, you got to have the right sounds around that as well as effects or whatever. And this is a perfect example of that. Perfect, beautiful, punchy drums up under that joint, dude. Like the bass line. Love the chops. Love the way you tr you chop that a couple of different ways, you know, a few different uh, sections. Well, a couple of different sections. And, 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 dude, that's brilliant what you did here. Bravo, student. You're a bad dude. <laughs> Bravo, my man. Jeez. Thank you for that. Let's keep it moving, man. Mm, mm, mm. We already off to a damn good start. <laughs> Let's go holler at this cat right here. This my man, right? So, like, he sat at CMA and did, like, nothing last year. He finally decided to jump up this year. And when he does come through, he does well, if you ask me. Still growing, but a lot of that comes with participating on a very regular basis. So, let's see what my man is doing this week. Ladies and gentlemen, Dap Dunlap. More yes. E e even more yes. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Dap Dunlap, yo. Sheesh. 
Uh, Dixie challenged me to chop up some Chardet. I sampled Cherry Pie, one of my favorites. Is it a cry? An even higher favorite uh, for my creation. Be well. Bruh. Woo! <laughs> that been coming with it, man. These last few submissions of his, he's been coming with it. This is, even though he hadn't been around in a minute, this is very dope. That very dope. The drums that initially kick in and I and, and obviously go throughout the song. Very dope. They immediately catch your attention. I like the, the drums. As I was just saying with the last submission, the drums, everything has to be on point. They all have to match and, and, and fit together. Drums came in sounding real nice. But then when the chops come in. And I'm assuming that everything, with the exception of the bass line, is from the two Chardet songs. Bruh, I really enjoy these chops. I really enjoy how you arrange them over the drums and the way, the way that the joint just kept going, man. The way that it flowed. It flowed very well, dude. Very well. Changed it up a couple of different times. He kept it very simple. And and that's one of my things, you know, for anybody that follows what I do. I'm a I'm a simple yet effective type type dude. And this is what Dap did with his particular submission. So that was dope, Dap. Just need you around more often, bro. <laughs> that was very dope though. My man. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's give some quick shouts out, man. Some people I hadn't talked to. What up, Ja Rose? Who we got? Frank Gates in the building. BG's in the building. Blessed girl. Who else uh, have I seen that we have not shouted out? By the way, we do this every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. EST right here. YouTube.com slash Computer Music Academy. And we post the replay, the high quality version on our site. ComputerMusicAcademy.com the next day as well as the YouTube channel. Appreciate y'all joining us, whether you're live or we're watching the playback. Shout out to Slade 5000. What up, man? Let me see if I've missed anyone else. Silent Monkey Productions. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, shout it out to my man, Obsidian Blue. Thanks for coming to join us, bro. My man, Afterlife in the house. What's up, dude? Aren't your beats in the building? All right, cool, cool, cool. I think we got everybody for now. Let's keep it going. Black math in the house. <laughs> let's keep it going, man. I need to go listen to this joint right here. Because this dude is getting on my damn nerves. I already know what I'm, what I'm going to hear. I don't know what he did as far as the assignment. But I know it's going to be dope. And I wish he would shut up about it. Ladies and gentlemen, the little brother, TikTok Productions.
So let's go ahead and put this out here. <clears throat> Our man TikTok Productions, aka DJ Black Code, he is officially the youngest member, the youngest person to ever be a member at CMA. I don't know if I should say his age, so I won't. Uh, but with that being said, there's a lot of I don't I don't know if I should say angst or confidence or if it's actually confidence is there and it's just trying to bait for a response. I don't know. Whatever it is, I wish it stopped. <laughs> Cause the thing about it is he's he said this on multiple occasions on multiple shows, not just this show, but my show that I have on the weekend, where oh man, I'm whack. This is whack. Blah, 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 blah. It's like ah stop. Shut up. All right. His submission. Sigh. Sigh. <laughs> this guy. This shouldn't even be on the podcast. This is horrible. But hey, I had to get it done. Jim and I gave me the song Wedding March by Volados uh, Mendelssohn. I apologize if I pronounced that wrong. I chopped it up, pitched it down, and added effects onto it. Uh, used drums from my new pickup, Lilac Glare for Machine, and added some instruments. That's it. Salute everybody. P.S. I want to curse out Gemini. I want to curse Gemini out. LOL. <laughs> Now, as already expressed in the chat, this is dope. This is very dope. Very dope. The only small complaint, or not even complaint, a suggestion that I would make is you know how I am with the repetitiveness. The keys, we needed a break from that. Even if it was only for... 10 seconds or something like that. We needed a break from that to have the beat do something else, which it did. You had different drops and you changed up a little, a, a little bit here and there, but that one part just remained the same through the entire two minutes. Gotta, you gotta give the people a break. You gotta change it up a little bit. I know it's, it's a rule that I have and I try to, you know, pass that on to the people that I rock with. But just for the listeners, you don't want to get them to a point where they feel like they've heard it all and then they they switch to the next track. So for Stu, I'm sorry, for TikTok and for anyone else, make sure you are changing it up. You even if it's only for a second, you got to change up the, that main pattern. Other than that, though, love the mix, love the track, just needed that little, you know, change up or whatever. And the only thing I'm going to tell you is keep going, man. You have a lot of talent. You you already know that. Myself, as well as everybody that rocks with you at CMA, have already told you that. And we're going to do everything in our power to push you forward and, 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 and help you keep going, to help you get where you want to go. That's what this community is all about. So props to you for making that happen. That was dope. And we'll keep it going. Thank you, sir. All right, man. Let's go talk to this guy right here. This is my man. He's been killing it. Very eager to hear what he's doing this week. Ladies and gentlemen, no one you know.
Yeah, bruh. Yeah, bruh. Yeah, WHA 187 is right <laughs> because this was murder. So RTO hit me with my kryptonite here. Uh, I challenge you to make a trap soul beat organically, meaning no samples, all instrumentation. Uh, the only assignment I missed, and when I could make it up, I skipped it. <laughs> LOL. What luck. Mostly Nexus sounds and random drums. My man. Yeah, bro. This was dope. The only thing I can say, and I will say this just as I said with TikTok, this needed a break from the main stuff. And you did switch up different parts, move stuff around, you know, mute stuff, that kind of thing. And that was fine. What I was hoping for, and I think you did it last week, I was, I was so hoping, I think it would have been perfect around the minute and 50, I think, minute 45, minute 50, is if you had this great buildup. You had a nice little intro. You had the main part of the song and what would, you know, resemble a hook, couple of different change-ups and whatnot. What would have been dope around that part is to take it up with like some high synths or high pads, maybe even like some not really crazy brass, but just something something like that to just kind of take it home. That's the only thing that's missing in this track. Other than that, perfect. No one absolutely perfect. I love everything about this. And the crazy thing is you've said this multiple times that you really don't do trap or haven't thought about doing trap, but it's funny when I listen to some of your other submissions for over these last couple of years, you kind of have a trap feel. The drums, even though it's not 808s, some of the drum programming can resembles, I should say, resembles a trap uh, feel. Definitely the hi-hats, because you normally have something, not always, but something in the way of like 808 hi-hats. Always, and it has a role to it, mostly, not all the time. It's always, it's like it resembles trap, even though it's not fully trap. So for you to say that, it's kind of like, man, this should be pretty easy for him. <laughs> but all that aside, this was dope, my man. This was very dope. If you are ever going to consider doing a project, this joint needs to be on there with several of these other joints that you've done this year, especially all the recent joints. But that last part that I was talking about to kind of just bring it up and take it home. Yo, please consider doing that, please, because that would just whoo, that would do it. That would do it, my man. But excellent, excellent work. Thank you. I appreciate you coming through this week, man. Woo. Let's keep it going, man. Let's go holler at this guy. It's one of our light skinned brothers. Let's see what he's doing this week. Ladies and gentlemen, Ja Rose.
I see, I see, I see, I see. <laughs> I see Ja Rose. Now, Ja Rose would be the one dude that doesn't actually tell me what the hell he was supposed to do. Way to go, Ja, my man. But uh, uh, Jelani actually challenged him. And, uh, okay, what, do you, what is it now? <laughs> Jelani is now talking about two different things in the chat. Are you serious? <laughs> Jelani was the one that challenged him. And at first he says, make a boom bap beat. But then he comes right back and says, jazzy or other. I, I do. What? Seriously? What is, what is going on here? Y'all losing me. Uh, I can't. I don't know what the challenge is. I don't. Uh, what I only thing I can do is kind of judge off of what it is. What I have heard. This is dope. This is very dope. He does say, never did get this track where I'd like it to be, but here you go. Most of it was made in Reaper. Uh, boom, bap, jazzy. Okay. I guess. <laughs> I got to be real. I don't hear that. I don't hear that. What I do hear is actually a pretty dope beat. And he said he was having some trouble getting it done. However... Um, there are some segments, a couple of really s small sections of this, of this beat where it sounds weird. It sounds off. And maybe that was a thing struggling with quantizing or I don't know. I don't know, but it sounds slightly off in some place. And it's kind of like, you know, you get that head bob going and it's like, okay. And then you get right back into it. I can only judge off of what I'm hearing. This is actually a pretty dope concept. I like where he was going with this. I like the sounds he actually selected. And while I'm thinking about it, dude, I want to say around the 40 second mark, there's this whistle type synth. I swear to God, he was getting ready to play uh, doing it in the park. Who's that? The Blackbirds? <laughs> I thought that's where he was going with it. <laughs> But no, this was smooth, mellow. I really enjoyed it, Ja. I did. This is dope. I like the instruments you chose. I like the path you were going. Just would like to see it tightened up in those areas, those couple small areas. And this is solid, dude. Straight up. Very, 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 very dope. Woo! Very, very dope, my man. Uh, let's see if we got some people we need to shout out real quick. I think I got everybody. Appreciate y'all coming through and hanging with us tonight. It has been very real so far. Let's keep it moving, man. Keep it moving, man. Let's go holler at this cat right here. Representing the DMV. Gentleman that's been following us for a little bit now. Finally decided to get in the fold and he's been killing it. He's been doing his thing. Ladies and gentlemen, Kane. <laughs>
seven is proper. Good Lord. Kane murdered that track. Holy crap. Doug, before I get to his submission, when that joint first hit, like when the kick and the snare, and then when the beat finally kicks in, and you got that slap in there, that's not a clap. That's a slap. Oh, boy. Woo! Nasty. He says, for this assignment, Gamapod said to use a drum kit he provided me with and no other kits. Uh, I could use any samples or play anything, but I had to use the kit for the beat. It's it's a dope kit, so thanks for that, Gamma. Hashtag we are CMA. Ooh, that kit? Uh, Gamma. <laughs> you doll at your boy now. <laughs> Yo, dog. This dude. He it his was fairly simple, but man, what he did was so effective. Like Kane is already dope, <clears throat> and as I've said plenty of times on this show and on my other show, if you got some dope sounds, man, you could do whatever the hell you want. <laughs> These were dope sounds, but then the sample. Oh my God, was that Idris Muhammad? I think so. Good Lord. I've heard that sample used many times. I've never heard it used like that. Where it had just enough familiarity to it of what you actually know of the sample. And then the way he chopped other sections of it. So you don't know it. Brilliant. Brilliant. Everything, this joint, I'm looking at this wave. This wave is one point. This is mixed and mastered so well. Everything stands out. Every element of this particular track, you hear it. That's how it's supposed to be. Kane. <laughs> Bravo, dog. Woo, he does it again. He does it again. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Shout out to Mike Notes, man. Just came through. What's up, dude? Keep it moving, man. Ah, now. Possibly my favorite portion of the show. Oh, this is going to be fun. Ladies and gentlemen, we have officially reached the Liars of Chicago. Up first. Gentleman that just joined not that long ago. But he is incredibly dope. I like playing his joints that he's submitted so far in our pre-show. He's dope. Ladies and gentlemen, Afterlife. My definition or personal definition of soul and soul music when it comes to mind is something that you feel, your emotion, something that's deep within you from the depths of your heart, like something that you've always wanted to say to somebody, but you can't really get it out, so you put it through song, and it's coming from the deepest part of your soul, of your being.
Bro, let me tell you something. This dude, he he's he's mm-hmm, yeah, he's crazy. <laughs> so, Black Math was the person he challenged as well as was challenged by Afterlife, and I just happened to kick it with Math uh, last week sometime. I forgot what day it was, and. uh he was talking about what he gave. Well, he, you know, th- I didn't know. I didn't know what the assignments were, but he kind of eluded, man, what Afterlife gave me and what I gave him. And I was just like, dog, y'all are perfect for each other because neither one of y'all know how to stay on beat. Neither one of y'all know what a metronome is. <laughs> I had to go look it up. <laughs> he was like, I do. It's that click thingy that always that I always ignore, right? <laughs> Yo. Okay, assignment 187. The challenge was given to me by Black Math to create a beat using an odd time signature drum pattern. Due to miscommunication, got the uh, got the challenge a little later than expected, so I had three uh, three days to conjure something. So I sampled my voice, uh, some drums, percussion, a few cents, and a bass. Ran short on time, so couldn't mix it down. I didn't find it me, uh, but had to present my ideal. To you and the crew, hashtag CMA fam, hashtag happy tur- happy turkey day. Dog, let me tell you something. When I pulled, you know, when the, the 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 names got generated and I saw these two coming together, I'm like, holy crap! Because <laughs> I already know what Mav does, and now I know what Afterlife does over these last say four or five weeks. I already knew it was about to be something crazy. And one of the things that I said in that conversation with Mav is like, dog, I can only imagine if this was a collab. If you two actually were to get together and create a track together, it would be insane. If you watch this show, you know what Black Mav does. Now, you know what Afterlife does. That track would be insane. This track, however, is freaking insane. Because... I ain't going to front, and, and I've said this many, many times, I've never, I'm not classically trained. I don't know music theory. I always play by feel, by my heart, you know, that kind of thing. How, you know, however the soul uh, makes it, makes it come out. But when people get, get to doing odd meter stuff and they do it well, I have to just <laughs> bravo. Seriously, because... It's, 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 it's a special set of skills, <laughs> if you will. And Afterlife already has that really stupid offbeat kind of shuffle kind of thing, as well as Black Math. But this is something very special right here. And it worked. And to say that, oh, I only had a certain amount of time. Come on, man. This is stupid. <laughs> I like that intro. Talking about soul or coming from the soul, however it was, and then actually getting into it with the introduction of the drums, and you really don't know which way the drums are going, and then finally everything kicks in. Stupid. Stupid. Bravo, Afterlife. Good Lord, dude. That was insane. My man. (laughs) I think he's in the chat, too. Good Lord. Let's keep it moving, man. Let's go holler at this guy. Mr. Projections himself, my man, Jelani Beats. Tuned into Jelani Beats, the, the beats that make your head nod.
So before I go with the, the, the challenge or whatever, I have talked plenty of times on this program about trying to take people out of their element, make them think outside the box, get out of their groove, make them uncomfortable, make them do something that they've never done before, or at least we've never heard them do before. And there it is. I've been listening to Jelani's beats for a little over a year now. And dude makes some really dope hip hop, especially when it comes to like sampling jazz and stuff like that. Really dope stuff. This, I've never heard him do anything like this before. And it was absolutely nasty. Uh, I was challenged by Ja Rose to make a dance hall beat. I tried my best as I have been extremely busy. Uh, I used sounds from Radiant Horizon by Native Instruments and a vocal sample from Billy Boyo's uh, Spliff A Day. I plan on revisiting this track to add other elements. Hope you guys enjoy. Hashtag we are CMA. Man, listen. Jelani. It's crazy for me to say. But this is easily the dopest joint I've heard from you. Because, again, it takes you outside of that box. Outside of the normal Jelani, which is very dope. I love Jelani's music. But this is something special, dog. Holy crap. And I love the fact that he didn't go, and this is no offense to any of my dance hall or soca people, but I'm really, really happy he didn't go with the typical, mm -t, mm -t, you know, that kind of thing. And I love Nance Hall. I love Soka as well. It's, it's pretty much the same thing. Slightly off. Anyhow, he went and did some other stuff. He used really dope dance hall, reggae kind of roots elements. And then added the synth stuff. I don't know if the synth stuff is in that pack. I'm assuming it is, but that on top of do, 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 that bottom is ridiculous. And to add the, the synth stuff on top of it, boom, boom. oh my God. Then you got the, the, the chops from old, from a uh, Billy Boyo. Oh my God. That's dope. <laughs> Y'all are clowning tonight, yo. Y'all are a clowning. Good stuff. Shout out to, to Jelani and Jai Rose on that one because that was crazy. <laughs> Sheesh. Liars in the house. World championship. Let's keep it moving, man. Let's go and wrap up this uh, Chicago trip. Holla at my guy, my brother. <laughs> you have no idea how much love I have for this guy. Ladies and gentlemen, Agent Smith, 78. <laughs>
look, man. I'm gonna tell AS, like I always tell him, whatever, but like, as I just told him, I just told TikTok earlier in the program. Shut up! Shut the hell up. Sheesh, man. So, Mr. Wallace had me use a 70s classic rock joint and make a Rock Marciano slash Griselda type beat. No snares. Okay, that explains that. Because I was waiting for that snare, boy. <laughs> After trying to do something with a few songs, I ended up butchering a Pink Floyd song to make this uh, uh, this arid extra extra dry. <laughs> This arid, extra, extra dry track you just heard. Good Lord, man. This dude. I love AS, man. I love my brother. <laughs> He's a nutcase, man. This dude, man. This is so dope. Again, this is the whole reason we do the WHA, Weekly Homework Assignment. This is the whole reason I set up things the way I do throughout the year. Well, we tackle different genres. We have different challenges. As I just said, to take you out of your element. Of course, you're going to create whatever music it is. Hip hop, soul, techno, whatever the situation may be. Whatever music you want to go down, you're going to go down that road eventually. But I do things to kind of get you to thinking differently. And, and as I said, people know what I do. They know what I expect. So that's why it's so easy for people to follow suit, especially this late in the year. This is something we have never heard from AS before. Slow, dark, sinister, dragging, just, oh God. You can say all you want, AS. This was dope. Like the intro, like when it actually kicked in. And you got the move and the chops around. And I think it's around the 130 or 140 where the other vocal chop, the higher vocal chop comes in. Oh, my God. The piano in the background. Oh, oh dude, this is dope. This is dope. This. Ugh. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, A.S. <laughs> Good Lord. That was dope, dog. Sheesh. My man, bravo. Thank you for that, bro. Let's keep it moving, man. Let's head out west. Let's go holler at this cat right here. One half of Dunn Gems. Shout out to Dunsworth, who was also in the chat with us tonight. Should have been in this damn challenge. Anyhow, <laughs> one half of Dub G Dunn Gems. My man, Gemini 4D.
So, off the top, I can think of two people at CMA that have machine studios and kill them, aside from myself. Uh, that would be Kane, and you heard what Kane did earlier in the show. The other would be Gemini 4D, and you heard what he just did. Insanity, dog. Gemini has this, as everyone has their own sound, and that's the beauty of what we do at CMA, of who we are, I should say. He has this way that he approaches tracks that I've never thought of in my life, and we use the same equipment, seriously. I don't know how he does what he does. I'm just glad that he freaking does it and kills it. Seriously. Uh, what up, CMA family? I was challenged by TikTok to chop up Ronnie Foster's Mystic Brew, which is the same song for a tribe called Quest's sample uh, electric relaxation. I didn't do this sample any justice. Shut up. Good Lord. I feel terrible for even using it. Shut up. I had to listen to Tribe after I made it just to hear how it really should be done. Nonetheless, here it is. Hashtag we are CMA. Shut up. Are you serious? As soon as this joint hit, the chat lit up. Like, what is this? What is this? <laughs> and this dude said he did it no justice. Are you from Chicago? You sure as hell act like it. This is insane, Gemini. One of the best I've heard from you. That the way you chopped up the break, which I think that's the same break that they use for uh, breathe and stop. I think that's the same break. I think that's what was under there. But the way you chopped that up and then you chopped the, 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 the main sample on top of it. Holy crap. It got a... I want to say it kind of has a shuffle to it, and I could be using the wrong term, but dog, the way that joint just flows and rides is ridiculous. It's a little higher in tempo, which is fine. It works like that. But this joint is insane. Few different change ups got to, I think it's around the minute 50 where he actually took the pitch down and actually showed you what he was using. <laughs> That's a show off for you. Like if you didn't know, which I did, but if you didn't know in the first minute and, and 50 seconds, now I'm going to show you what I used so you can appreciate how I used it. That's one arrogant nonsense. <laughs> but then come back and said, I didn't do this any justice. Shut up. Gemini for Diesel. Bravo, dog. Bravo. And by the way, shut up. <laughs> Jeez, man. Cats are clowning tonight. This has been a hell of a show. Hell of a show. Hell of a show. Let's keep it moving, man. We still got a little bit to go. Let's go holler at this brother right here, man. It's been a minute since we heard from him. I know he's been working. Trying to get business taken care of. Now he's back for this particular one. I'm glad he came through because I really want to see what he did. And ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Wallace. Oh, look at Wallace play. Wallace!
Bruh. This is why I love Wallace. Wallace, I can say this definitely about two people. Wallace, along with Gamma, they don't just make beats. They make experiences. They take you on journeys with their music that they contribute. This week, Agent Smith challenged me to sample an NES game, SNES game, Super Nintendo. Uh, I sampled a joint from one of the Final Fantasy soundtracks. The joint was called Cry Sorrow. I beat Final, Final Fantasy 3, 7, and 10 growing up, and it remains one of my favorite franchises in video games. I almost challenged myself. I also challenged myself to mix it in 90 minutes, which you know was tough for me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Props to you guys for continuing to lay it down, and I look forward to being back full time soon. Hashtag we are CMA, hashtag dirty old men. Bruh. There's a lot to talk about here. And like I've said, and I have no problem with this. For anybody that does this, understand I have no problem when I bring this up. But like I said, Gamma, definitely Wallace. Don't do the hook verse, hook verse, hook verse. Nothing wrong with that. They actually go all out and really make full experiences, full compositions, if you will. This intro sampled from the Final Fantasy joint and the way he was filtering and moving stuff around just in that part and in the beginning, that first 40 seconds. Then the beat kicks in and the first thing you hear is the stereo with the claps and the snare and snap or however it is. Holy crap. It's like, it's so resonant. It's absolutely insane. And Wallace is a genius when it comes down to mixing. As far as people at CMA who do great mixes, it's always going to be Wallace and Dixie for me. As far as like the top guys that always comes with that pristine when it comes to the mixes sonically. So... The way he positioned everything and then the use of the chops or the replay of, of, of the sample, however, he breaks it down at the 140, looks like. And it's like another build up. Come in, come back with the music and you got pads and synths and I think there was like a, some, some awes in there, O's, however. Just beautiful cinematic and kept going and moving stuff around to the very end. And the way this joint went out was so dope with that, you know, the, the guitar. It sounded like a guitar and the way it's all distorted and everything. Bravo, dog. Bravo. Wallace is a beast. Still. Always has been, always will be. My brother, <laughs> love you much, man. Woo! We still got a little show to go. <laughs> Good Lord. Props to everybody that has contributed tonight, man. Y'all have really nailed this assignment. This is exactly what I knew was going to happen. Let's keep it moving, man. Let's go holler at one of my other brothers, dirty old man. Ladies and gentlemen, the great Mr. No Metronome himself, Black Math.
Black Mav, ladies and gentlemen. Let me just read the submission. Then I'll speak. WHA 187. First off, Afterlife, <laughs> I have a deep disdain for you now. LOL. All kidding aside, this assignment definitely challenged me in multiple ways. Different instruments used, sound quality, not wanting to, not wanting to be whack. You committed to doing the assignment, etc. I have personally, uh, I have to personally thank my colleague whom the track is titled after. And that's Rahamas or Ramas. Uh, my apologies if I pronounced that wrong. Uh, da, 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 da. Being of Pakistan, Pakistani descent, she gave me much valuable information and recommended an artist uh, of the sample that I chock, chopped. Once I was done, she told me she loved what I did with it. I hope y'all dig it too. Hashtag we are CMA. Hashtag bridge, bridge the gap. Hashtag Rama's joint. Hashtag language universal. You and your damn hashtags. <laughs> Yo. Black Mav is a genius. What else needs to be said? So you sample some original Pakistani music. I love the vocal in this joint. And of course, Mav has to be Mav. Ridiculous swing. Drums. Stupid. Absolutely stupid. Uh, Live. Has to be live, and I know because Mav has a really dope rolling V kit, V drum kit. Uh, shout out to his wife who actually uh <laughs> invested in that for anniversary, I think it was. But man, this is stupid. Oh, I forgot to mention the bass. This was dope, Mav. This guy is out of his damn mind. Brilliant. Brilliant. I mean, I don't know if the drums were live the first minute, but at the 105, they were definitely live. But it even goes further to where, like, once it gets to the 130 or 140, I forget where it, where it is. Well, actually, no. It's around the 120, 125, where he starts with the ride symbol. He brings that in. That makes it even doper than what it already is. I think it's around the 140 where he's switching back and forth between the ride and the bell. Killing it. Fill-ins, everything. Still hitting the hats. Everything is on point. Genius. Black Mav, ladies and gentlemen. Freaking genius. My brother. <laughs> Clowning tonight. Clowning. Good lord. We still got uh everybody here. No new people yet. That's cool, man. Let's keep it going, man. Let's go holler at this guy right here. Now representing St. Louis, my man, Dixie Freely.
So a little behind the scenes action. Uh, so when I introduce the song, I press play. We get to listening to it. The majority of the time, well, many of the times when that happens, I instantly go and I look up the uh, the email that has the submission information, blah, blah, blah. And I have to be honest, 99% of the time, I don't read it until I actually read it to you. I don't read it ahead of time. So I'm listening to this and I'm just like, what the hell is this? And then I, I catch the first line and I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> what up, Tash here for this assignment? Dap Dunlap challenged me to sample some Black Sabbath, Black Sabbath and add organic elements to the track. First of all, I freaking love Ozzy. Period. Moving right along. For this, I sampled Breakout. From their 1978 release, Never Say Die. The vocal sample came from their song Sweet Leaf from the 1971 album Masters of Reality. The organ and piano stabs are, are the elements I added. Hope he issues an A for effort. Hashtag we are CMA later. Bruh. That's one thing we haven't done is sample some Ozzy. I freaking love Ozzy, man. Especially like Crazy Train. Oh my God. Iron Man. Ugh. Anyhow. Uh, this was dope. I don't know where Dixie went for the drums this week. Holy crap. Please go back. <laughs> and there's a it's, a, it's an ongoing joke. Dixie said, okay, I'm not trying to promote, but I have to set this up. If you don't know, I do a show on my own, on my own channel, my personal channel on Saturdays and Sundays where I do live beats. And Dixie said this maybe about a month ago. He was like, man, <laughs> I need them Saturday afternoon at five o'clock Tashir drums. <laughs> so I've, I've, I've poked fun at him for saying that a couple of times over the last month. You got them. <laughs> Those are definitely my kind of drums right there, bro. Yo, when them joints hit, when the beat first hit, I had no idea what I was what I was in for. Like I said, I didn't even read the first joint. I mean, I didn't even read the submission. But man, the drums and everything hit in that sample when it kicks in. Duh, that joint is sinister. <laughs> I think Ozzy would approve. <laughs> you stupid. I I have nothing else to say, dog. This is stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. I love how this turned out, Dixie. I would love to see you sample some rock stuff more often. <laughs> Bravo, dog. Oh, one last thing. I especially love the filter as it faded out. That was really dope as well. Bravo, dog. Whoo. Y'all killing it tonight. Mm, mm, mm. Props on everybody that gave these challenges. Props on everybody that committed. Because as I said, you had to commit in advance to even know what the assignment is. It's normally not how we do things, but it's, you know, two or three throughout the year where we do it like that. So props to everybody that committed props for, and we still got a couple more to go, but props on some great challenges and props on great submissions. Yo, man, this has been so fire. Speaking of fire, let's go holla at Gamma Pods. <laughs>
I'm a, 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 I'm a person, and my wife is in the chat. She can back me up. I hate repeating myself. <laughs> it is getting to a point where week after week after week after week after week, I'm repeating myself when it comes to this man. He says, from Kane, quote, for your assignment, I want you to use three samples from this list and make a beat using the samples from all three songs or just one, but you can only uh, use these songs. I, it, it, it's He has a typo. I uh, can only use these songs. You can use drums from anywhere, but these have to be the main samples like Rhythm Roulette. You can find all of these songs on YouTube. Let me know if you need help with that. Number one, Herbie Hancock, Jessica. Number two, Max Sane. Apologies for, if I mis- misspelled that, mispronounced that. Beloved. And number three, Eloy, Poseidon's Creation. I ended up using all three. It was difficult, but I figured out a way to make that work. Uh, I gave I gave the piece that lo-fi feel. Thanks, Kane. I don't usually sample these days, so I needed the practice. Uh, these are all been a good amount of drum section. Oh, these have all these all have a good amount of drum sections. If anyone else wants to tackle this task, I hate you, Gamma. <laughs> I hate you so much, dude. This is stupid, man. This dude went lo-fi. He went slow-fi. Down tempo, you know, that's the same thing. He killed it. Absolutely killed it. The thing that's really dope, like, I loved it. I'm assuming that's the Herbie Hancock. I'm assuming. Uh, I love that part repeating when it does. But then I think it's at the 130 or 140 where it's this other part that's singing that comes in, you know it doesn't match the song that's the sample that's playing, but somehow I don't know if he pitched it or if it just happened to match in notes or tone. He made that fit that piano in the background. Stupid. Absolutely ridiculous. Gamma. <laughs> that's all I gotta say, dog. My brother. This has been a great night, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a great show. It's even greater because the last gentleman, the last submission of the night, comes from my brother, my man, who's celebrating his birthday today. Please show him some love in the chat, in the comments. Let's listen to this track. Ladies and gentlemen, RTO Beats.
my brother, my teammate, birthday boy, RTO Beats. Closing out episode 187 bah, of the weekly homework assignment slash podcast. Bruh. So no one challenged me to do some dance hall. This is it with a little RTO twist. Hope y'all dig it. Hashtag we are CMA. Bruh. Holy crap. And see. Again, I freaking love that you could have. This is what I love about what we do. This is one of the reasons why we do sample mutilation. For those who don't know, sample mutilation is when you have one sample, one very popular song that's been used many times before. I give that to all of the people. You have to use that sample, chop it up, rearrange it, play other elements with it, blah, blah, blah. The whole purpose of that is to have you do something else, knowing that you got potentially 10 to 20 other people who are actually doing the, you know, working with the same thing. You have to make your submission unique. We already had a dance hall joint early in the joint in in the submission uh, in the podcast. I believe that was Jelani. I love what Jelani did. RTO. Now, as I said in the Jelani joint, he didn't necessarily go with the typical style, patterns, beats. RTO actually had that, but murdered it because he didn't just do just that. He added his own flavor to it. And that was from the 10 second up to like the 50 second mark. Then this dude just loses his damn mind. He turns this into something entirely different. Still keeping the dance hall soca feel. Changes it up again. I think is around the 115. It does something entirely different from that. <laughs> this dude is out of his mind. <laughs> that was crazy, RTO. Holy crap, dude. Man, I love y'all. I hate y'all at the same time. (laughs) But man, we have been cranking out some really dope podcasts. These last two years in general. But man, it, it never fails. It's like as the year progresses and we get to the closing, so to speak, later in the year, things just start clicking. People get it. And they start churning out some of the most ridiculous work that they've done all year. This entire podcast is an example of what I just said. Stupidity. Bravo to everybody that participated. You guys are ill. You kill it. Thank you all for that. Woo. Let's give some shouts out before we go. Darren, this Ray Papa Fields. Silent Monkey Productions, thank you for coming through. RTO Beats, Student, Dixie Freely, Gamma Pods, Freehand, Dap Dunlap, Gemini 4D, my wife Samaya. Love you, baby. Uh, who else we got? No one you know. Darrenis Ray. Jelani Beats. Agent Smith 78. RTO Beats. I don't know if I said that already. Uh, Afterlife, man, man, man. I'm just going through and it's just like, this is just pure stupidity. It keeps playing in my head. Let's see. I hate this chat. (laughs) Dap Dunlap. And apologies if I missed anybody. I can't get up higher in the chat. Black Mav, I know. Slave 5000. Uh, Mike Notes, Mr. Wallace, Ja Rose, man, I can't get, I can't get any higher in the chat. So apologies for that, but thank y'all for coming through and killing it this week. Dunsworth, my man, we do this every Tuesday night at 8 PM EST right here, youtube.com slash computer music Academy. And we post the replay the high quality version on our website, computermusicacademy.com, as well as this channel the next day. Please 
do me a favor. Where is it? Where are you? There it is. <laughs> Go support my family. Computermusicacademy.com slash releases. Many of the people that, that contributed tonight have projects out. So if you like what they've done, please go support the projects. The music, I'm sorry, the money goes 100% to the artist. So please support really dope music. Support my people at CMA. And if you would like to be amongst the great talent pool that we have here at CMA, come on over to computermusicacademy.com and join us. It is that simple. We're done for the week. Enjoy the rest of your week and your turkey day. And I will talk to you next time. See ya! <laughs>